Hi, I'm Martin Jaris from Oracle's Digital Assistant team. We help customers create amazing conversational experiences or chatbots uh, for their customers and for their employees. Over the next five minutes, I'm going to talk about the work we're doing with Infobip to create really cool WhatsApp conversational applications, or again, chatbots, uh, that customers can access the chatbot through uh, WhatsApp. Oracle Digital Assistant is our platform for creating conversational AI experiences. When you create a chatbot, you start off by creating your own digital assistant. We call that the DA. The DA acts as your concierge. So for all the services that you create, and all the use cases you implement, all your users will talk to the concierge DA. Your services are defined as a set of skills. And you might start off with one or two initially, and you build them out over time as you want to add more use cases and more services to your digital assistant. Let's start off with maybe some frequently asked questions. Order status, maybe store lookup. Over time, maybe we'll add in warranty. Maybe we'll also add in some service. Each one of these skills and the DA have access to their own training data, which runs the natural language processing. They also have access to a dialogue flow engine which controls the actual conversation, the backwards and forwards between the end user and the, the chatbot. Your skills will need access to back-end systems to be able to form transactions or to query data. So you may have things uh, on-premise, you may have it in the cloud, it may be Oracle, non-Oracle. So it may be something like your ERP system, uh, maybe your CRM, maybe HR, and maybe you have a knowledge management system. So each one of these skills, maybe the FAQ one, perhaps that will have access to your knowledge management. Uh, your order status is probably going to talk to your ERP system. Uh, your service is probably going to be talking to CRM and to, to knowledge, knowledge management. So on the front end, your end users will be accessing the DA and all of its skills through channels. And out of the box, Oracle Digital Assistant supports uh, web. So maybe that's your, your website or your intranet portal. Uh, we support mobile. So you could have uh, your conversation or your chatbot happening inside your own mobile app. And we also support voice. So you could speak to your chatbot through, through voice. Increasingly popular in the enterprise are things like Microsoft Teams or Slack. And these allow your employees to have really fast access to your digital assistant as well to help them with their inquiries. Now for WhatsApp, we work with our partner Infobip. So you create a channel within your digital assistant for Infobip and then Infobip handles all the connection to WhatsApp and Meta and the WhatsApp for Business service. Infobip handles your registration with WhatsApp for Business, the registration of the telephone number, and then all the connection back to Digital Assistant itself. That way it dramatically simplifies and accelerates your ability to deliver a chatbot from Digital Assistant through to your end users running on WhatsApp. So for more information on how to create chatbots for WhatsApp, using Oracle Digital Assistant and Infobip, then follow the links that I provided below. The first one will take you to the Digital Assistant website, lots more information about the capabilities and the features of Digital Assistant, 
and the second link will give you a step-by-step -step set of instructions on how to configure the WhatsApp channel through InfoPip. Thank you very much.